Welcome! In front of me I have Huawei Nova 10 and I'm gonna show you how to go through the setup process on this phone. First we need to select the language we want to use on our phone and you can do it by swiping up and down on screen right here to scroll through the list of languages, find the language you like to use and then tap on it to select it like this. I'm gonna select English, so let's find the English on the list like this. And once you select the language, you can tap on the Get Started button right here to continue. But before that, you can also tap on the Emergency Call button to use or call the emergency numbers. Or you can tap on Reading Aid. And here you can access the settings for features like magnification and font size. Okay, now let's tap on the Get Started button to continue. And here we need to select the region. And you can do it by scrolling through the list, finding the region you want to use, tapping on it, and then you can tap on the next to continue. Right here we need to agree to the terms of use. You can check this, this box right here, and then tap next, next rather, but you can also read the terms if you want to. Now we can insert a SIM card into our phone and connect to the mobile network. Um, I won't do it, but if you want to do it, do it now and your phone should detect the uh, net mobile network and uh, you can customize the settings for it. I'm just gonna tap on skip right here. And here we can connect to the Wi-Fi network, rather we need to. Uh, so find the network you want to connect to, uh, tap on it, then tap on the password. Here you can uh, tap on next or cancel. If you tap on next and tap on agree, you will be able to use the uh, keyboard, the Cecilia keyboard or whatever it's called. And now let's tap on the password and enter the password uh, for the Wi-Fi network. So give me a couple of seconds. Okay, once you enter the password, tap on connect. And then you can tap on next to continue. Here, let's tap on next. And right here we can set up a protection for our phone, basically something like a pattern, pin or password. So uh, nobody else can access your device without your permission. You can also set up a face recognition and a fingerprint ID. So we can use the fingerprint to unlock the phone. If you want to set them up, simply tap on one of the options and follow the instructions on the screen. I'm just gonna tap on skip right here and skip this step. Now tap on next, and here we can log in into Huawei ID account. If you want to use uh, features like Huawei uh, App Store and stuff like that, all of the uh, Huawei applications, uh, you need to log in into account. But if you don't care, you can simply tap on don't have a Huawei ID account, account right here, then tap maybe later, and then you can tap on leave to skip this step and just um, move on without logging in. And you can do it later on in the settings if you want to. I'm just gonna tap on leave right here. And right here we can enable uh, and disable the uh, Huawei services or media services like uh, Huawei video service and book service. You can enable them by tapping on the check on the box to check it or you can keep them disabled by unchecking the boxes. So check the ones you want and then tap on agree or if you want to skip it tap on later. And here we can enable or disable a couple more um, features, I would say, or services for the uh, HMS core. We can enable or disable the AD ID statistics. We can enable or disable the personalized ads. And also we can enable or disable the auto update. If you want to, for example, disable the personalized ads, you tap on this option and tap on the switch to disable it. Uh, and then you can go back and as you can see it's gonna be disabled and you can do the same for the AD, uh, AD ID statistics and auto update and once you're done customizing the settings tap on next and here we can uh, enable or the, uh, keep the, the enable the enhanced services so if you want to enable the services tap on enable all services if you want to 
set them up, tap on setup enhanced services, and if you want to skip it, tap on no thanks. I'm gonna tap on setup enhanced services, and this will bring you to this menu, and you can select which services you want to enable. And you have Wi-Fi Plus, weather service, AI search, uh, overnight updates, AI live service, AI voice, and stuff like that. So enables the ones you like. For example, you can tap on one and then uh, go back, or you can uncheck all of them, check all of them, depending on your liking. And once you're done customizing it, you can go back and if you want to enable them all anyway without selecting the specific ones, you can tap on enable all services to simply enable them. And if you don't want to enable any of them, tap on no thanks, of course. And here we can uh, join the user experience improve improvement program. Uh, so if you want to do it, tap on join. If you don't care, you can tap on later. Right here we can share the analytics with the Huawei uh, if you want to. So if you want to do it, tap on enable. If you don't want to, tap on later. Here we can enable the location services. So if you want to, I don't know, use the maps, uh, some other apps that require the location services, you need to enable this option. But if you don't care, you can keep it disabled by tapping on later. And here we can uh, import data from another device, from the Huawei cloud, uh, if you want to. I'm just gonna tap on setup as new device because I don't want to move any data to this phone, but you can do it by selecting one of the options right here and basically following the instructions on the screen. Now we can tap on try gestures and here we can, or rather here we have the little tutorial how to use the gestures and it's quite simple. To go back, you simply swipe from the edge of the screen to the middle like that. If you want to go to home screen, you swipe up from the bottom like this. And if you want to open the recent apps, you swipe from the bottom and hold in the middle for a second or two like this. And then we can tap on finish or change the navigation method. So if you don't like the gestures, you can change it to um, older type of navig navigation like button navigation. You will have the button buttons right here at the bottom of the screen. I'm just going to tap on finish. And right here we can also select different apps to install automatically like TikTok or something like that. I'm just gonna tap on select all, deselect all to desele deselect them, but you can select anyone, any app you like from this list and then tap on next and it's gonna be installed on your phone automatically. I'm just gonna tap on next. And at this point, as you can see, we have the home screen on our phone and we can use it, which means that the setup process is complete. And that's how you go through the setup process on this phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please uh, consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.